No, close the engine, brother. Tiger, look at that. I guess the title's gone. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay? Chalo, done. Thank you. Okay, thank you. क्योंकि हमारे इंडिया में अगर कोई आदमी डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म बनाना चाहता है तो उसको पहले तो जिगर होना चाहिए और उसके बाद में वो जितने पैसे कमाता है उसको ही डॉक्यूमेंट्री में लगाना चाहिए उसके ऊपर वो रिलीज करने के लिए करता है उसमें एक नेक्स्ट बैटल आती है लेकिन वॉरन परेरा है कि एक इन्होंने उस्ताद नाम के टाइगर को शूट करने स्टार्ट किया और उसकी जिंदगी के मोड में खुद ही उलझ गए और आज जब इनकी डॉक्यूमेंट्री रिलीज होने जा रही है उस्ताद जयपुर के जू में अपना दम तोड़ दिया उसने और उस उस उस्ताद के मेमोरी में हम ये फिल्म डेडिकेट करते हैं मैं पहले बिट्टू सहगल जी से पूछना चाहूंगी कि ये टाइगर पे फिल्म बनना ही क्यों है टाइगर पे फिल्म बनना क्यों है क्योंकि मैं कहता हूँ कि ये नहीं कि ये नेशनल एनिमल है ये है वो है लेकिन बात ऐसी है कि बाघ हमारे बच्चे हैं किड्स फॉर टाइगर उन्हें हम ये सिखाते हैं बाघ बचाओ भारत बचाओ पुराने जमानों में तो कहते थे कि जंगल नदी की माँ है वो टाइगर के बारे में ये भी कहते थे कि टाइगर पट्टेदार पानी का देवता था वो बोलते थे आज भी लोग गांव में यही मानते हैं कि ये टाइगर पट्टेदार पानी का देवता है जहाँ जहाँ टाइगर होगा वहाँ वहाँ पानी होगा तो टाइगर को क्यों बचाओ ये नहीं कि भाई टाइगर को हक होता है जीने का और लायन को नहीं होता है या हाथी को नहीं होता है या चूहे को नहीं होता है बात ऐसी है कि अगर टाइगर को बचाएं तो जो बच्चे समझते हैं मैं अभी बारह साल के बच्चों की बात करता हूँ वो सीधा समझ जाते हैं बच नहीं पाएगा जब तक जंगल ना बचे जंगल बचेगा तो जब बारिश गिरती है तो बारिश को चूस के नदी जल नदी को पानी मिलता है तो कारण ये है कि जब आप बीमार हो जाए तो आपके मुंह में थर्मोमीटर डालेंगे देखने के लिए कि आप बीमार हो कि नहीं अगर जंगल को हमने देखना है कि स्वस्थ है या मरीज है तो टाइगर है तो आप मानो कि पानी है अगर टाइगर है तो मानो कि हिरन है तो इट्स एन इंडिकेटर स्पीशीज ये कह रहा है लोगों को कि अगर मैं हूँ तो मानो कि ये जंगल तंदुरुस्त है अगर टाइगर एक 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 करके गायब हो गया तो जंगल एक 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 करके गायब हो सकता है तो लंबा चौड़ा जवाब दिया मैंने आप छोटा सा ही बोला बट इंटरेस्टिंगली दिस डॉक्यूमेंट्री वन एट द जयपुर फिल्म फेस्टिवल जयपुर इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल एंड वन अ लॉट ऑफ अवार्ड्स एवरीवेयर आपको कैसे लगा कि उस्ताद के लाइफ पे फिल्म बननी चाहिए Um, I mean, I was following him because I just liked the tiger, to be honest, and I wanted to make a documentary on a tiger. And the the picture behind right now is the first time I saw him in the water, looking at me, and I felt like I had a connection. So there wasn't any grand reason for conservation, but this tiger that I was following happened to become controversial, happened to allow me to tell a story that shows you the. real ground reality management of a tiger reserve where you cannot focus just on one individual tiger there are multiple stakeholders there's other tigers there's the villagers there's the forest staff there's a amount of funding there's there's hotels there's a lot of things that go into managing a tiger reserve and this documentary allows us to talk about all that and and allows us to show tiger reserves in india for what they really are they're managed wild spaces they're a lot smaller than people think and they are compromised just on the edge of all these tiger reserves there are villagers living literally inside or on the edge of critical tiger habitat and i was forced and i'm happy i was forced to show that reality which is something that traditionally a documentary would not show you would actually just show it as this pristine area which is perfect and expansive but um i felt like t24's story allowed me to show the complexity of managing a tiger reserve and i hope that's uh helpful for conservation but we start the concept uh, a conversation around it besides winning at the jaipur international film festival you received critical acclaim you received the panda award at the wild screen and many other awards at the same time an awarded documentary like your is still fighting the same battle that ustad fought to stay in his home So how does that feel coming back home to release this documentary in memory of us? 
I mean, it's it's feeling better and better. I was really nervous about bringing it here because it's a massive expense to make these films and a massive expense to continue releasing it. But I feel like if, if anyone needs to see it, India needs to see this. It's ultimately an Indian story. The tiger is the national animal of India. The tiger is the health of the this entire country's ecosystem. And uh, he went to the high court over here, you know, he went to the Supreme Court over here, and there's never been a tiger that's commanded the attention. The Supreme Court, the high court had billboards erected, galvanized all these people, the Forest Department, activists, all at the same time. And so I feel like uh, if it, I would, it would be wrong not to show it over here. It's very difficult to do it, but uh, I'm glad we're showing it on the big screen. Uh, not just because I'm a filmmaker, but I just think there's a community element to watching something on the big screen and coming out and being able to talk about it afterwards. On one hand, you're from Bollywood. On the other hand, Ustad's life looks like straight out of the world. Oh, yes. <laughs> Actually, uh, first of all, thank you, Warren, for showing me such a beautiful film. You said that this is a documentary. Hai. But uh, let me tell you, this documentary mein love, romance, separation, uh, uh, tragedy, uh, so many emotions that I didn't feel like I was watching a documentary. Dekh rahi of course, education factor was necessary, but if uh, Ustad is a hero, he can literally a Bollywood movie. Ban sakti hai uske upar. And let me tell you, if I was watching Ustad, I remember Salman Khan, I thought, oh my god, Salman Khan will be with him, it will be like What a movie, what a documentary that he just presented. And I did read about this uh, when this was uh, uh, you know, in, in the news. Uh, but when we live in a city, we don't get so much information. But in the same way, Warren has shown us about the Tiger uh, uh, Reservation, about their life, and what exactly happened with T24. I think this is a very unbiased, a very touching and a very eye-opener uh, film. Rahi hai. And uh, firstly, let me welcome you to my country because this is what my country, uh, this is the wild animal of my country. And the man and the wild, uh, con the wild animal conflict is always going to be there. I'm not there to debate about this. There are some very logical people who can debate about this. But let me tell you, this is a beautiful movie. It's a, it's a story about Ustad, who's, ma who's majestic, inspirational. And let me tell you, he's a hero. He's a hero, true hero. Is it important for conservation films to actually have a commercial life with it? I think it's not just uh, important for them to have a commercial life. I think uh, for conservation films to reach down to the masses is a matter of survival tomorrow. Today you take the pandemic, very few people know. The pandemic, direct result, the reason the pandemic came was the wildlife trade and the destruction of ecosystems. There's something called the Das Gupta Review. So, $40 billion tiger trade, poaching came, and it caused a $40 trillion loss. So the economy is also, there are so many nuances to this, but uh, it's very, very necessary, which is why we actually, I don't want to say anything, I don't want to say anything, I बच्चों के दिमाग में सुनते हैं समझते हैं उनका दिल धड़कता है लेकिन हम लोग को तो ऐसा पता नहीं क्या हो गया है हमारे दिमाग को आज का देश की हालत आप देखिए कुछ भी देखिए कि ये मेरा हक है क्या हक है कि जंगल में जाओ इतनी तादाद में क्यों जाओ इतनी तादाद में अरे जंगल जो है वो जीवे जग, उसके जीव जंतु सिर्फ टाइगर नहीं है दीज आर द सोर्सेज ऑफ आर रिवर्स दीज आर द सोर्सेज ऑफ आर कल्चर our art, our music, our dance, our history, everything came from the jungle, our religions came from there. If you kill the source of your inspiration, what is going to be left? The film you made is a very, very even-handed film. When I saw the film, it was very even-handed. It caused a lot of consternation. Those people like Balmek or myself or the others who were actually working in Nantambur long before tourism was even a thought, we actually made 30 documentaries on the tiger in 1984. And at that point, we used to go in Ranthambur for 10 days and not even see tiger 30. In fact, we tiger, tiger burning bright in the forests of the night. 
We searched through grass, we searched through matti, all we found was tiger tatti. And tiger tatti, we were very happy that there is a tiger, there is a tiger, there is a tiger. So, you can see that the Buddha is doing its own work. We don't need to do anything. The bhaura, the bhaura, the bhaura, the bhaura, these are the gardeners of Eden. These are our one's money. Give them to them. I remember Kailash Sankhla Ji. He was the first director of Project Tiger. He said that you don't do your own money in the jungle. You go there and see there. But the forest looks after itself. So I would say that at this moment in time, there is a very clear, very, very clear connection between biodiversity, the tiger represents it and the pandemic which was caused and the food security of India and the climate crisis. What is the change of the weather? We are throwing up on the top. But the child knows that there is a tiger in the jungle or that you have a tree in your house. Until the atmospheric carbon is called photosynthesis. That brings it down. तो आज के दिन में ये मौसम का बदलाव कितने लोगों की जिंदगी को हराम कर दिया उसने तो बाघ एक ऐसी ऐसा जानवर है जो ये गिविंग अस सॉल्यूशन वो कह रहा है हमें जीने दो हम आपको जीने देंगे सीधी सीधी बात है और और एक अकेली बात ये है कि आजकल के दिन में बहुत लोग झगड़ते हैं रिलिजियस फाइट्स ह तो आज के दिन में अगर राम भगवान को वनवास लेना पड़े तो कौन सा जंगल ढूंढेंगे वो सोचने की बात है कि राम भगवान के असली मंदिर तो जंगल है और आप कोई भी दुनिया में कहीं भी जाओ तो पानी की पूजा करते लोग इस देश में इस कमरे के चौड़ाई में कोई भी नदी है आपको मिलेगी नहीं जहाँ कि उसके स्रोत में एक मंदिर ना हो मैं अमरकंटक जैसा बड़ा मंदिर की बात नहीं कर रहा मैं पत्थर पत्थर जमा जमा करके वहाँ जाके पूजते थे इसीलिए तो हम सूरज को पूजते हैं इसीलिए तो हम बाग को पूजते हैं आप कोई भी जगह जाओ दुर्गा का वाहन कौन है शेर फिर मैं कह रहा हूँ कि हमारे देश में इतनी समझदारी है हमारे देश के दिल में इतनी धड़कन है कि मैं वॉरन को कहूँगा कि जाके अमेरिका में यूरोप में यहाँ जाके सिखाओ उनको कि भाई आप कुदरत के मेहमान हो कुदरत के मालिक नहीं हो तो ये टाइगर 24 की फिल्म के लिए मैं आपको बिग भाग देता हूँ कि आपने बनाया है लोग झगड़ते हैं होना चाहिए था नहीं होना चाहिए था लेकिन टाइगर जीने चाहिए टाइगर नहीं जियेंगे तो हम भी नहीं जियेंगे इस बात में मुझे एक सवाल आपसे पूछना है क्या टाइगर ट्वेंटी फोर हाँ था टाइगर 24 मैनीटर था लेकिन वो मैनीटर खुद बखुद थोड़ी बन गया वो बनाया गया था बनाया गया था हमने ज़्यादा दखल अंदाज़ी दी जो कैलाश सांखला जी कहते थे कि भाई do nothing and allow nothing to be done keep the tiger protected keep its forest protected nature will fix it sir वो हम भूल गए तो हमारे घर में अगर मैं एक पातू कुत्ता को रखता हूँ तो मैं उसको वेट के पास ले जाऊँगा उसको रेव एंटी रेवी शॉट दूँगा उसको ये दूँगा उसको वो दूँगा देना पड़ता है क्योंकि मैं उसका माय बाप हूँ लेकिन मैं टाइगर का माय बाप नहीं हूँ टाइगर का माय बाप कुदरत है जंगल है अगर उसको हम जंगल दे दे में, वो हमें सांस देगा पानी देगा जीवन देगा नॉर्मली फॉरेस्ट के अराउंड एक लेयर होता है और उसके बाद सिटी आता है या ह्यूमन ड्वेलिंग आता है इसमें वो सेंट्रल लेयर था ही नहीं तो आपको लगता है कि ह्यूमन डिसीजन की वजह से अगर हुआ क्या टी ट्वेंटी फोर को बाइल से निकाल देना चाहिए था क्योंकि उसके घर में तो हम गए व्हाट डू यू फील वर well, I mean, so Ranthambo, when it was started, was one of the smallest tiger reserves. And all these rules with Project Tiger are great, but they're, they're ideas and they're concepts. So the idea of having a core and a buffer and then the human settlement is an ideal concept. So we don't have that in Ranthambo. Ranthambo does not have a buffer, but they have expanded the core area about 100 square kilometers in the past 10 years. So yeah, ideally, Ranthambo should have a buffer. But nothing is is ideal in a tiger reserve. We, we strive for that. And so they're always managing you know, these tigers within this compromised, what I think is a compromised core. 
Um, as far as the man-eater question, you know, to me it's, it's not an important question, but it's, it's a great way to draw an audience to, to this film and, and other conservation topics. Um, if you go back, the British old definition of a tiger seeking out human prey and going after humans, he's not. If you go to a more evolved, modern definition that he did eat people, he is. But to me, the, the bigger question was uh, wildlife decisions are never perfect and they have to make them on the spot. At the time that T24 was allegedly or killing people, there weren't many attacks in Ranthambore. And if you were there in that month after the attack, it was a pretty tense situation with the, with the guards, with the villagers, Sherpur village, because I was actually there on the ground looking at all this stuff. So I think the decision was more made based on all that. It wasn't like someone said, he's a man That was more on social media and everything. The chief wildlife warden actually says danger to human life, and they take a lot of things into account. There was a, a committee, everything else. But like I said earlier, I, I think it's great to draw an audience to the film. And hopefully, because of this man-eater question, they can look at the other concepts that are actually, I think, more important for conservation. Uh, we do, I want to ask you a question. Sheer, in general, it's his job to protect his children. We make our settlements in the middle of the jungle. So, how would you define him a man-eater? See, I put it like this, that you can't define him a man-eater. You have to discover whether he is intentionally killing human beings or whether he is accidentally killing them. Because an accidental, I can walk into a bush, there's a tigress over there with cubs, so I'm going to die, I'm going to So, that's a different thing. But I'm talking about this tiger, which are post-mortems. The tiger has been hit from here. The tiger has hit from here. The tiger has hit from here. One, two, three, four. When the tiger attacks the tiger, it means that he is attacking the tiger. I'm the tiger, I've seen the tiger, I've seen the tiger. चार पांच छह दफे रंथमोर में टाइगर हाँ वो करता है ऐसा कर उसका कारण कहने का ये है जैसे कुत्ते भौंकते हैं क्यों भौंकते हैं कि भाई जाओ मैं झगड़ना नहीं चाहता हूँ आपसे जाओ ये मेरी जगह है ये सड़क पे किसी को जहाँ तक मैं जानता हूँ सड़क पे किसी को इस टाइगर ने नहीं मारा लेकिन जो लोग जंगल के अंदर गए तो उसको एक आदत पड़ गई थी कि ये इंसानों ने पहले तो he got porcupine quill, then he got intestinal blockage, पांच दफे, चार दफे उसको मतलब कि एक पालतू कुत्ते के जैसे हमने उसको ठीक किया, फिर वापस भेजा, ठीक किया, he got used to us, and he didn't like us. And in this case, many people said कि भाई वो अंदर क्यों गए थे? अरे forest guard है यार, forest guard अंदर नहीं जाएगा तो हाँ आपको सवाई माधोपुर थोड़ी ना प्रोटेक्ट कर रहा हूँ वो तो पुलिस का काम है तो मैं कह रहा हूँ कि अगर और इस गार्ड को ही मतलब डर लग जावे और दूसरी बात ये है कि गांव वाले मैंने रंथमपुर में देखा है कि जब फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट एक्शन नहीं लेता एक टाइगर समझो कि पांच उंगली एक जैसे नहीं होती है इस टाइगर को टाइगर मैंने देखा ही नहीं है मैं कहता हूँ कि आप सलमान खान वगैरह बोलते हो कुछ भी नहीं है इसके साथ कुछ भी नहीं है मैं कहता हूँ इसको देख के आपको ऐसा लगता था कि भाई ये है जीवन ये है लेकिन अगर उसको हमने सता सता के सता सता के सता सता के मतलब उसको बना दिया है सब तो फिर हमारा फर्ज ये भी बनता है कि अगर एक टाइगर के कारण गांव वाले उनकी बच्चों को खतरा पड़ता है, उनके मवेशियों को के ऊपर हमला होता है, उनके तो उसको हटाना जरूरी था। अगर उसको न हटाते, तो हमने देखा है रंथमोर में क्या हुआ? 20 टाइगर मारे गए कुछ साल पहले। क्यों? क्योंकि लोग कहते थे कि नहीं टाइगर को नहीं, टाइगर को बचाओ। वाल्मीकि और मैं भी कहते थे कि भ नहीं हटाया था पास में हम ये नहीं चाहते थे अभी मुश्किल से रंथम और वापस आ रहा हम ये नहीं चाहते थे कि गुस्सा ऐसा हो जाए ये भी नहीं और इस गार्ड के लोग लड्डू है ये है वो सब ये और इस गार्ड हमारे दोस्त हैं वो कहते हैं सब मैं अंदर क्यों जाऊं 
मेरी भी तो परिवार है कि मैं अगर मैं भी जानता हूँ उसको मैं ज़्यादा ही कुछ बोल रहा हूँ लेकिन मैं कह रहा हूँ वो सीधी बात है ये कि एक टाइगर को बचाते बचाते अगर 20 टाइगर को किसी ने जहर खिला दिया तो क्या करोगे आप तो किस किस्म का प्यार हुआ है और मैं बिल्कुल नहीं चाहता हूँ कि टाइगर जू में रहे मैं बिल्कुल नहीं चाहता हूँ मेरा दिल टूट जाता है देखते देखते लेकिन मेरा दिल ज़्यादा टूटे अगर बीस टाइगर को खतरे में डाल दिया क्योंकि मैं टाइगर को बहुत प्यार करता हूँ ठीक है बहुत प्यार करते हो तो फिर 20 टाइगर मरेंगे तो आपको जो होना चाहिए ना तो आप समझ जा सकते मैं क्या कह रहा हूँ मेरा कहना ये है कि ये इस ये जो ये जो हुआ ये हमें जोड़ना चाहिए था हम सब जुड़ जाते तो एक परिवार सही रहता टाइगर के डिफेंस टाइगर को प्रोटेक्शन करते करते सही प्रोटेक्शन होती लेकिन टाइगर तो टाइगर है लेकिन इंसान तो इंसान है झगड़े 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 में बीच में ना तो टाइगर टी ट्वेंटी को भला हुआ और ना हम जुड़ भी गए तो क्या होगा कल ऊपर वाला जाने आपसे पूछना है बोल आपका डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर यूएस कनाडा और इंडिया में कौन है उसका हम डिजिटली भी ये फिल्म देख सकते हैं थिएट्रिकल के बाद Um, yeah, and so my distributor in Canada and the U.S. is is uh, Elevation Pictures and Universal Pictures, and it just got digitally released over there. We have after a limited theatrical. Um, in India, it's AA Films, Anil Tadani's company, and we's, we're releasing it theatrically. And we don't have a streaming digital release uh, distributor yet or date yet. So I, I hope to have one. Uh, because that will be the, the widest way to go uh, across the country. But um, I think initially I'm going to focus on the theatrical and hopefully that works out. As an audience, Rupali, and as a uh, woman who stands up for nature, why do you think people should go and watch Tiger 20? And why in the theater? So firstly, as uh, uh, you know, as in presenting uh, Make My Earth Green Foundation, I I really believe that the ecosystem has to be balanced. I believe that the trees have to be there. I believe the ecosystem has to be in complete balance because uns wo wo hamare liye hai. We are surviving because we are there. Um, ek maine uh, bachpan mein ek ek kuch ek line suna tha jahan par kaha gaya tha ki sheer se van hai aur van se hum hai. To us उस चीज को लेकर मुझे लगता है कि नहीं जैसे इन सब एक्सपर्ट्स ने कहा कि इनकी नॉलेज में हम मुझसे बहुत ज़्यादा है इनकी नॉलेज के आगे मुझे लगता है कि मेरी नॉलेज बहुत कम है मगर ये इतना जानूंगी कि शेर जैसे मैंने कहा कि शेर से वन है वन से हम है अगर हमें बचना है तो हमें शेर को बचाना बहुत ज़रूरी है अगर हम पर्टिकुलर इस स्टोरी के ऊपर आएँ टी के ऊपर यू नो तो एक जैसे मैंने कहा कि आप सब ने पूछा कि वो मैन ईटर है वो यू नो बट वो एक हार्ट स्टीलर था मेरे लिए आई वॉज इन लव विद हिम एंड सच अ ब्यूटिफुल एनिमल इसकी स्टोरी सुनने के लिए जब मुझे बताया गया कि ये इसकी इसकी ट्रिव्यू हो रही है नॉट इवन वन सेकेंड आई टुक अदरवाइज अनुषा नो दैट हाउ टैन काइंड ऑफ टैन टू दैट सो नो आई एम नॉट देर बट आई जस्ट गेव अ कॉन्फर्मेशन इन फाइव मिनट आई एम कमिंग फॉर दिस because i know that how important this subject was for my country how important the subject as uh, as a representative of my uh, make my earth green foundation is uh, how important the subject for education for all of future uh, prospect it is and we all should know the story so that we can save the future and the future is us agar hum unhe nahi save karenge we cannot be saved this is what i know in a simple language and yes he's a heart stealer I believe that uh, this is a love story. I believe that this is an unbiased, very true uh, story, and it's years of hard work of Orion. And congratulations! I think it's not an easy job to risk your life like that, to dedicate your life to something which is which you believe in so much. And uh, hats off to him. And it's commendable for the kind of passion he's given for this film. And for that passion, if you really love your nature you really love animals i love and i'm an animal lover i wish i could pet one but <laughs> a tiger <laughs> but i would not recommend it <laughs> i know but i would really want to i am the but anyway to it i think it's a beautiful story everybody should come and watch this and uh, it should it will actually touch hearts what do you feel people why should people watch tiger twenty four You know, when all this conversation was going on, I was thinking of the man who made Ranthambore, Fatih Singh Rathod. He was, you can say, the chela of 
Kailash Thakla. Fateh Singh Rathod gave his whole life to protect Rathambor and his whole life to protect Tiger. But he knew one thing, ki agar bhaag gaon mein jave aur gaon walo ke upar hamla kare, to humare Rathambor ki future hai hi nahi. So this film had to be made, not to say ki ye sari hai, wo galand hai, this film was to be made so that pude desh dekh paaye. Tiger ko bachane ke liye karna kya hai? We stand on the shoulders of the forest guards who <coughs> killed by T24. Without them, we can't stop. Ek din ka ghaas ko bachna pa hai. So I think this film should be made also to let people know that we are dependent upon nature. The economy itself is a wholly owned subsidiary of the biosphere, of the biodiversity of this world. We think that we are so smart that we can do everything. We are not so smart. Our one of the money is full. It is a little bit. It is a little bit. It is a little bit. We don't know so much about which tree we have to put. The tree will be a jungle. The jungle will be a jungle. हिरण रहेंगे, हिरण रहेंगे, बंदर रहेंगे, बंदर रहेंगे, फल यहाँ से लेके वहाँ बीच फेंकेंगे, वहाँ से नया पेड़ निकलेगा। ये लाखों लाखों साल के लिए ऐसा हो रहा है। हम लोग बीच में आके दखल अंदाजी हमारी कुछ ज़्यादा ही है, अक्कल हमारी थोड़ी कम है। ये मेरी पर्सनल ओपिनियन है, लेकिन क्लाइम he says, climate change is the surest evidence of market failure. <coughs> Even the economy will not survive. Farmers will not have water. Industrialists will not have water to run their factories. Thermal plants will not have water to run their coal washeries. Unless and until we have ecosystems, wetlands, grasslands. <coughs> That's why we chose Project Tiger, Project Tiger to make SR. Nansam Ghor to log kya chate, yaha kyo Project Tiger laga hai? कुल तीन चार टाइगर हैं, लेकिन आज देखो साठ सत्तर टाइगर आ गए, कैलाश सांचला जी ऊपर हैं कहीं, मैं हाथ जोड़ता हूँ उनको, पतेह सिंह जी ऊपर हैं कहीं, उनका दिल टूट जाता है देखते-देखते कि जो टाइगर को प्यार करते हैं वो लोग झगड़ रहे हैं, और बीच में टाइगर के घर उजड़ रहा है, उधर बच्चे समझते हैं बजुर्ग को उधर आ। Last words from you. What would you like to say? I just I hope people come and watch this film. I'm I'm really happy that everyone came today and been to Bali. Thank you for coming. Um, you know, and I I think I mean I don't want to sound preachy. I mean, for me, I'm still a filmmaker. I hope you enjoy the movie. But there happens to be a, a conservation discussion that you could have after watching it. And, um, you know, like I said, the controversy around it, the man-eater, not a man-eater, is, is just, to me, like entertaining ways to talk about conservation and to look at all the stakeholders around it. And, and like Bitu said, like, Tiger Reserves have ecosystem services. That's primary literature now saying that they have an economic value. They, they prevent soil erosion. They, they fight climate change. They preserve our culture. They, they, they preserve these beautiful tigers and all the other species. So even in a city, you're benefiting from, a, from the a clean tiger reserve, a protected tiger reserve. And the other thing I would say with a lot of these man-animal conflict problems where we focus on the tiger and who's right or wrong, is he a man or not, it's coming from essentially habitat destruction. Because there's such little habitat left, when we up the numbers of these big cats, there's gonna be conflict. But the real problem is, from us, the elite, like we're the ones or a generation before who, who took away tiger habitat. I mean, I know my grandfather shot some of the last tigers in, in this area, in Maharashtra, okay? And so, at, at the time, it was still legal to do so. But in 1972, they stopped, uh, you know, hunting. 73 Project Tiger came in. This year is the 50-year anniversary of Project Tiger. We should be talking about this. It's the national animal of this country, even with my American accent. I'm from Bombay. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm from, it was Bombay when I grew up here. Now it's Mumbai. Okay, so this is very, this is also very important to me. And I never expected to be looking at the Wildlife Protection Act of India. I never expected to be going to the High Court in Jaipur for a tiger that I was following. And when I went to these tiger reserves, 
As filmmakers, we don't want to talk to the department. We're like, let's just get our shots, okay? But in this film, I had to talk to the department. And then I learned about it. I had to talk to the villagers. I had to tell their stories because I didn't know those stories. And it was very humbling for me to go to someone's home whose father or son has been killed with a tiger and like beg them for an interview to tell that story. And I learned a lot about their stories, but also the culture of India. Like people actually open their doors and talk to you. Uh, even experts like Valmik Tapper, the activists who invited me to their homes and made me lunch and dinner and all this stuff. So I'm really grateful to everyone who did that because this film has been insanely difficult for me to make. It's been 10 years in the making. I put everything in it. So I hope people uh, enjoy it and I hope it does something to our conservation. Uh, before leaving, I just want to say that we are very thankful to Anil Tadani for actually coming out to distribute this film. एक डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म को डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करने का जो जिम्मा है वो बहुत डिफिकल्ट है बिकॉज़ हम भले ही वो सुल्तान को सलमान समझे लेकिन है तो शेर की कहानी करेक्ट और यहाँ पर एक टाइटल हमें मिल गया आई थिंक ही हैज टू डिजर्व दिस टाइटल टी ट्वेंटी फोर बिकॉज इस तरह की कहानी बहुत जल्दी हम बॉलीवुड में देखने वाले हैं ओ गॉड बस एक लास्ट चीज कहना चाहूँगी जब भी आपको दिखे कि आप जंगल में जा रहे हैं और रस्ते में आपके सामने कोई एक जंगली जानवर जा रहा हो तो ये बात याद रखिए आप उसके घर में हो वो आपके रस्ते में नहीं है जिस दिन हम ये बात समझेंगे कि वी लेट द एनिमल्स लिव देयर लाइव्स एंड हम हमारे घर में रहे और उनके जंगल को लेते ना जाए जब तक कि हमारे पास हो ही ना जैसे हमारे अगर सोसाइटी में ही बीज झाड़ ना हो तो हमको कितनी गर्मी लगती है आसपास के अगर थोड़ा सा मैनग्रो उड़ जाए तो टेम्परेचर सीधा हाई हो जाता है और आज की तरह पहले के बॉम्बे और आज के मुंबई में कितना फ़र्क है टेम्परेचर का ये छोटी छोटी बातें हैं और जब हम कोविड के टाइम पे अंदर बैठे रहे और बाहर ही ना जा पाए तो एग्जैक्टली exactly वही चीज़ हम एनिमल्स के साथ कर रहे हैं सो so, जो हम करेंगे ना वो वही रिटर्न मिलेगा सो so, अच्छी मैं आखिर में एक बात कहना चाहता हूँ कि हम बम्बई में बैठे हैं मुंबई में आपको पता है कि आप पानी पीते हो तो कहाँ से आता है <coughs> जंगल से आता है थाने के जंगल से आता है संजय गांधी नेशनल पार्क हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ दॉर्ड अलाउड सेवन परसेंट कोई भी शहर नहीं है चेन्नई लो बेंगलोर लो कलकत्ता लो कहीं भी शो, कोई शहर नहीं है जिसका पानी जो हम पीते हैं जिससे हम जीते हैं जंगल से ना आया हो तो टी ट्वेंटी फोर की एक कहानी सीधी है मुझे जंगल दो मैं आपको जीवन दू ये साधारण मैसेज है सर क्लोज में थोड़ा सा ये सर यहाँ पे देखिए लोग सेंटर कहा ब्यूटीफुल पिक्चर वन मोर Nice. I want all of them to come with you so we can do a picture. Sachin, you move around. Get two picture with them. All the media lights. Hey, all of you come together. Now, I'm going to take pictures. Sachin, move around. Yeah, Sachin, I'm going to take pictures.